Hey guys, it's May May, and today we are going to make what I think is the cutest thing in the world. Some of you may not, but I think it's so cute. Let me show you. It is this snowman hat. I told y'all this week would be very snowman heavy, and it is a top hat ornament for a tree. Now, the cool thing is what we're going to make it out of, and it looks like a million bucks. I'm serious. I can't wait to hang this on my tree. And I want to make more of them, like, in all different patterns. So, what I'm going to do during this video is make another one in a different pattern. So, that way I'll have two made, and you guys will get to see how to do it. So, there it is. Can you see it up close? It's so cute. Okay, let's get started. What you'll need is something round for the base, and this is a Bath & Body Works candle lid. So that's what I'm going to use today is this. Um, and you'll need a one and three quarter inch circle. You can use a punch or you can do it with your Cricut, doesn't matter. You'll need a couple of those and I'll show you where and when. You're going to need some paper. One of those strips is going to be seven and three fourths by two and a half. And then you're going to need some sort of chipboard. Look what I'm using. <laughs> I don't waste this stuff. This is not thick enough to be considered anything more than like heavy cardstock. So we'll cut two of these and we'll make it thick enough to be like tag board or medium weight chipboard. So we will do that. This is one I've already cut out to get us started. Here's our two circles. And you're gonna need some just random strips and it doesn't even matter. You'll see what we use them for. So these are just some strips left over from that hat I did a while ago. You'll need some adhesives, all that kind of stuff. And most importantly, you will need, a to not a toilet paper, this is a paper towel roll. This is the one like I used. However, I think toilet paper is the same size and would work just fine. And here's what I did for this. I took the whole paper towel roll and then I put my ruler right to the edge of it like this and I marked it every two and a half inches. Okay, so that got me four out of this roll. I took a strip of white paper that was one inch wide and cut on my paper trimmer so it was good and straight, okay? And everywhere I had put a two and a half inch mark, I took this paper, lined it up on the mark, wrapped it around so that it was nice and even with each other, because this is the same size all the way around, then I traced around it. That gave me a perfectly straight circle, okay? So that's how I did that. Then I took my X-Acto knife, and here's what I've learned. Keep your hand over here, okay? Way out of the way, because this is paper, and if you get too crazy, you can get yourself. But what I did was I poked my blade into my paper towel roll, and I'll see if I can do it with you watching. I cut toward me in slow, easy strokes. This is not something for the kids to do. If your kids are gonna help you, especially right here where this gets to be double ply, you have to put a little more pressure, and a child, it would scare me that they may pull too hard. So if your kids are going to help, let them use scissors. But the reason I'm pulling toward me is because I can see my line very easily. And I know I'm in the right spot. Okay. So now I have cut that away for us to use. Okay, so we have one circle cut and we have our top hat portion cut. I'm gonna put this aside for a second and I'm gonna trace this onto here. Now, if you were gonna make a whole bunch of these, you could like make yourself a template. Just use this over and over again. But since I have these Bath & Body Works lids laying all over the place, I can use those. Okay, and this stuff is like gold. I never throw it away. If you guys drink soda at home, save those dudes. I'm going to glue these together using hot glue. Just because it's quick and it's simple and it'll be dried really quick. Now, you've got to get close to the edge, but not close enough that you're going to burn your fingers when you put them together. That's real important because you know this stuff is painful. And you need to get them flat. And here's a tip if you're using hot glue. Take that lid you've got and press them together, because that lid is metal and will block it from burning you. And then once it's... Now something that the hot glue does is it makes it firm, which I really like it. It kind of firms it up um, because it's hot glue. So those are now together. Now at this point, you're gonna wanna do some inking around the edges because you can see some of that green. Really heavily ink, and for safety's sake, Anywhere I can see green from the underneath, I'm going to cut it away. Just trimming using the top as my guide. 
because we don't want any of that to stick out. Probably should have done that before I inked to save a step. And now I'm going to do the same on this side. It's hard to be perfect with this kind of cutting. Okay. So I got all the little green off. And now I'm going to go back over it with my ink one more time. Cute and done. Okay. I'm going to leave my ink out because I want to use it some more. Alright, now what I'm going to do is take this guy using some Tombow. I'm almost out of Tombow. I've been using it like mad. I'm going to run it around this edge, pretty close to the edge, and then I'm just going to kind of swirl it and put some in the middle. And then I'm going to glue this guy down to the paper. Look, I got soot on me from that. Glue it down really good. And with Tombow, I don't have to wait long. Then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so now when we flip it over, look how beautiful. All right, and now I'm going to take the other portion here and do the same thing. So now I have this covered on both sides. I just want to make sure I've got good adhesion everywhere. And I'm going to ink the edges again. And this time I want to be kind of heavy. I want it to show really well. So pretty. And there you go. Now you don't need this right now. You can sit it aside. Now let's work on the tube. There are a couple things about the tube that are real important. The first thing is you want to go ahead and cover this top with like a working piece of paper. So that's what I'm going to use this piece of craft, craft paper for. So I'm going to take this piece and some of my strips that I cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down these strips onto my paper in an X shape. This is just for working purposes, so I don't care if it's cute. So now that you have your strips on, here's what you're going to do. And it does not matter, like I said, this is just for cosmetic purposes, okay? We are going to take, and I've put glue on the outside strips. I'm going to lay it on top, and then using those strips, I'm just going to glue them down to the side. And I don't care, because I'm going to cover all of this up. This is just to work it. Okay, and there you go. Our next step is to wrap our cone, our um, paper towel holder. I'm going to sit it aside for a second and show you something. If you'll take your bone folder and just kind of slide this as if you were trying to curl ribbon down the paper, it makes this part so much easier. And what it does is it kind of breaks down the fiber in the paper and it allows it to get a good bend going. Anything to make things easier, right? So now we see we have this good curl. All right, we're just going to bring this over. I'm just running some glue down one side. Then I'm going to pick up my curled paper and lay it on that bead of glue. Now it will be hot, so barely touch it. Just get it laid down. And you can always rub it with your bone folder to kind of disperse it till it cools for a second. You don't have to use hot glue. I'm just really doing it because it's faster. Then I'm wrapping my paper around again. And where it comes together, I'm going to put glue here. And the reason I am is because I don't mind it overlapping so much because it helps with stability. Because we doubled the base, but we didn't double this portion. Okay, so now, as you can imagine, we're going to work on the top. The first thing we want to do is using a hole punch, go to the center of this circle, as close to the center as you can get, and poke a hole. And I'm using the larger hole from my um, crocodile. Go ahead and glue this onto the top. So 
So I failed to mention that you're going to need something like this, something that's like um, baker's twine or wire or something that you can put through it to hang it on your tree with. And I poked a hole in this before I put it on and then I used my X-Acto knife and just poked a hole in this portion too. And now I'm going to feed this through. And now that I've got it fed through, I'm going to pull it through the other end and make a knot or a twist, whatever it is that you need to do to hold it in. If you're using, you know, ribbon or something like that, you'll want to make a knot. And then pull it back out. And now we have our topper. So now we're getting somewhere. So now we have it fed through and brought back around. So now we're going to do a little more embellishing. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this area at the top where these meet. And I'm going to ink the bottom. Won't need to as much here. It's not hardly going to show, but just in case. Okay, so I want to embellish the top of this hat different than I did my last one. And I have this little felt, um, felt kind of scalloped ribbon. And I think the scallop would be cute kind of sticking up off the top. So I'm going to glue that down. So now I have this precious trim at the top of the hat. Okay, so now what we'll do, I just found this part is easier if you do it before you attach everything together. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and run my ribbon that's gonna go where the brim meets all the way around the bottom. It's just easier. And I want it to start at the same place this one started, so right here. Okay, so as you can see, the whole top part of my hat is done. Now I'm going to bring the brim back over, and I'm going to run glue around this bottom edge. And you can run it just on the inside, and when you sit it, it will fall into place. Then you just want to place it. into the center and press down until it catches, until it dries a little bit. And we're through with this for a minute, so I'm gonna sit it aside and I'm gonna sit my um, hole punch on the top just to get some pressure on it while it's drying. So that way it can get a good bond. Now while it's bonding, I wanna make, I have hot glue everywhere, I wanna go ahead and do a bow for the front. So I'm going to take some ribbon and just do this quick, simple bow. So there's my bow. And the other little um, embellishment I want to use is this um, Santa Claus. It was an ornament from the mini section at Michael's. You know how they had the little mini ornament things? And so I just cut the little ornament hook off and I'm going to use that in just a second. But first, let's adhere our bow. Now you want your seams to be in the back, so turn the front portion to you. Then glue your bow in place. This one is so cute, it's so vintage. I don't 
don't think that's the right thing for there. I like the gingerbread guy. So I like the gingerbread better and to make it match, I just ran a piece of that same um, ribbon that I used for the holder at the top through his little tummy. And now we'll glue him on. Little gingerbread cookie. So there you have it, two totally different styles of Santa hats. I think they're precious. And I'll show you pictures of these hanging in the tree so you can see what they look like because I think they're gonna be really cute. Made out of paper towel holders and just paper and junk you have around the house. So give it a try and let me know how yours turns out. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching guys. Have a Merry Christmas. See you Monday. Bye-bye.